The Bureau had hardly adjourned its meeting on Saturday when I received an important telegram from Baron von Neurath, German Secretary of State for Foreign Affairs, which I immediately communicated to you together with the acknowledgement I sent pending an appropriate reply. Now, I attach such importance to these telegrams that I think I ought to read them to you. On behalf of the German government, I have the honor to make to you the following communication. In the light of the course which recent discussions of the powers concerned have taken in the matter of disarmament, it is now clear that the disarmament conference will not fulfill what is its sole object, namely general disarmament. It is also clear that this failure of the conference is due solely to the unwillingness on the part of the highly armed states to carry out their contractual <coughs> obligations to disarm. It is possible the satisfaction of Germany's recognized claim to equality of rights and the condition on which the German government agreed at the beginning of this year again to take part in the work of the disarmament conference thus no longer exists. The German government is accordingly compelled to leave the disarmament conference. Baron von Nara. In Germany, the withdrawal from the disarmament conference has been hailed with Nazi approval. Dr. Goebbels on the right, German Minister for Propaganda, reiterates his country's standpoint in a talk with the distinguished British journalist, Mr. Ward Price. I understand your, your Excellency to say that uh, Germany took part in the negotiations for, uh, of the disarmament conference only under the special conditions that Germany should receive equal consideration and equal rights. You consider that the German government, as a self-respecting regime, has no other course open to it except that of retiring from the League of Nations. Herr Hitler's first public appearance after the German government's action was to lay the foundation stone of the new German House of Art in Munich. This was the much discussed occasion when the silver hammer with which the stone was to be laid broke in the Chancellor's hand. Diesen heutigen Tag erleben zu können, an dem ihren Ausgang nehmen wird, auch wieder eine neue deutsche Kunst. Der Stein ist nicht gelegt. Although the untoward incident seems to have caused mystification to the huge crowd, Hitler is not disconcerted. One veteran British statesman believes that there is much to be said for the German policy, and British Movie Tone News feels that the views of Mr Lloyd George will be heard with respect even by those who most violently disagree with them. The victors undertook that if Germany disarmed, they would follow suit. Here is an official print of that promise made twice and thrice. Germany disarmed in accordance with the treaty. The victors, instead of disarming, have increased their armaments and are still doing so. They have not carried out their undertaking, and that is the trouble which has arisen. I have now communicated to the General Commission... Meanwhile, the Disarmament Conference addresses itself calmly to the situation before adjourning, and Mr. Henderson reads out the measured reply which he has dispatched to the German Foreign Minister. ...limitation of armament, and indicating the reasons for that decision. The German government took this step at a moment when the Bureau had just decided to submit to the General Commission a definite program. This program provided also with corresponding measures of security for the realization of equality of rights which the German government have always placed in the forefront of their demands. 
I regret, therefore, that this grave decision should have been taken by your government for reasons which I am unable to accept as valid. Henderson, President of the Conference for the Reduction and Limitation of Armies.